Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran, and I've been playing a lot of Subtle to Rogue as my old spec. I kind of just go from like side to side just between assassination and subtlety as my old spec since I spend a lot of my time playing out the rogue. And as I'm playing a subtlety, I am, you know, trying to pay attention to the forums. I'm trying to pay attention to the updates on World of Warcraft, Wildhead, MO Champion. And I'm trying to at least stay basically have the very basics of information when it comes to assassination and subtlety when making videos for you guys and coming up with updates from the patches. And one of the things that I noticed and I'm still noticing to this day and I guess is the pipe I can't tell if it's a popular opinion or not but you tell me the uh, opinion that rogues are still terrible worst place class delete them off of the class roster blizzard don't even have them exist and I just don't think it's quite true I feel that there's a lot of improvement for players themselves and I want to make a video on three things that you can improve on as a player in subtlety when it comes to pulling top dps or overall being an effective player when it comes to pvp now i think the best way of going about this methods these three things to improve on is to completely clear the slate of what subtlety rogue has been in the past subtlety will never well most likely will never be the same as it was in pandaria as it was in warlords as it was in cataclysm and i never played wrath vanilla or bc so i wouldn't even know how subtlety played back then but I don't think subtlety will ever be the same spec. A lot of specs and classes underwent massive changes when it comes to Legion, and what I mean massive as in the specs got completely redone with their objectives, their playstyle, their abilities, their damage. For example, Outlaw Rogue in my opinion became more of a subtlety rogue than currently subtlety is, as Outlaw Rogues are all about making the setup happen instead of slice and dice and rupture on your enemy and pulling your energy and getting you know your your uh, shadow dance available now it's all about getting the right buff and having your cooldowns available so if you have the right buff and your cooldowns available as an outlaw rogue you're able to burst down the enemy in the quick succession and score a kill so you're kind of trading out sustained damage for massive burst damage but outside of that you're basically rolling the bones until you finally get the right buff Subtlety rogues are a little bit different this time around, and I feel like this is some of the few things that players can learn in order to benefit as a subtlety rogue. Again, the best way of going about this is to clear your head of what you've known subtlety to be, and basically relearn the spec as it came in Legion. First thing I want to talk about is energy management, and I guess kind of part of it is common point management. When you're playing as a subtlety, I'm going to be playing with the normal build of Vigor, Master Subtlety, Subterfuge, Elusiveness, Prey in the Weak, Premeditation, and Master Shadows. I didn't really say them in order, but this is the build that most professional players or high rated players are playing with, and there's a reason for it. First of all, this build allows you a ton of energy regeneration, allows you for great CC, uh, of course you have great mobility and the build doesn't really benefit you in that, it allows you massive comp point generation, and I totally talked about energy but also a higher energy pool, longer duration of shadow dance, and again also a lot of consistent damage with master subtlety. But there are some drawbacks, this build is not quite as bursty as people remember subtlety to be. So one of the few things that I think players need to really really learn how to do as a subtlety rogue is learn how to play around shadow dance and your energy. Part of the things about that makes subtlety so good is how much shadow strikes can you spam out. With Vigor and with a build that most people are running, you are actually able to spam out so many abilities that cost 40 energy. And because of the way subtlety is, you have so many ways of refunding your energy back. So learning how to properly manage your energy and get as many abilities back to back in the quick succession is probably one of the few things you can learn to do as subtlety. One of the things that allows subtlety to do so is relentless strikes passive. Your finisher moves have a 20% chance per common point used to generate 40 energy. That means if you're using Nightblade, you actually gain back energy. If you use Eviscerate, you gain back 5 energy, so you never need to be star in terms of a finisher to give you back energy so if you're able to manage your shadow strikes your cheap shots and your finishers properly and if you're able to manage your energy properly with shadow dances then technically you should never have any issue in terms of energy management also part of this is learning when to use your gormos bite a lot of players like to use gormos bite early i kind of like to delay i like to go through a cheap shot shadow strike in the opener get a night blade of 
then I like to get uh, maybe a four, four or five cheap shot or shadow strike combos, and then finally use Gormo's Bite, usually when you really need extra combo points, because it's free off of energy. And by the time you really need free combo points, three in particular, uh, you also get a ton of energy so you can continue to hit the enemy back to back to back. So that's part of the advantage of subtlety and I feel like a lot of players still have an issue or a majority of players still have an issue figuring that out and where your damage comes from. The more shadow strikes you put out, the more finishers you get to use, the more damage you get to deal. Now this takes us to finishers and I want to talk a little bit about finishers, especially with the artifact trait of finality. I feel like there's a lot of potential and a lot of players are still not using this one properly. Finality allows your Night Blades and Eviscerates to be empowered after you use them in a succession. So you say you use an Eviscerate, the next Eviscerate will be stronger. What they don't say in the uh, tooltip is just how strong your Eviscerate and Night Blades will be. So if you put in two, uh, if you put in five combo points into a Night Blade, your next Night Blade is going to be 20% stronger. But if you put in less combo points into your first Night Blade, your next Night Blade is going to be just as weak. So the more combo points you put into your first finisher, the next one is going to be empowered by the uh, percentage of how much you put in the first one. So if you put 4 combo points or 5 combo points, the next one should be fairly powerful. But if you put on 1, 2 or 3 combo points, then the next one isn't going to be quite as powerful. So being able to do that as a player is especially important. This also allows you as a player to do different setups. So you're able to get maybe your Night Blade in the opener, but you're not bursting in the opener. Maybe you're doing a setup to swap onto someone else, or maybe after you have exhausted all your stuns on the primarily enemy that you're, let's say, Night Blading, afterwards you're going to go hit him again with a full setup. So know when to set up a Eviscerate, set up a powerful or an empowered Night Blade ahead of time, and then use them properly to, uh, you kind of have to plan ahead of the uh, situation. Knowing how to do this properly with finality will allow you to deal more damage overall as a subtlety rogue. So, not only is it all about energy and knowing how to use it and how to spend it, it's also how to watch out properly for your finishers to make sure that you have an empowered finisher ready for damage. Another thing I feel a lot of subtlety rogues don't really quite understand is how Akari Soul and how to really properly combine all of your abilities into a proper rotation when it comes to PvP. In PvP the environment is very different. PvP environment is never static like a raid environment. In a raid environment you for the most part are able to get add-on DBM and expect all the boss attacks to come in at an appropriate time. But in PvP it's all about the player's movement, player's knowledge and player's skill level. So that's really what comes in. So in PvP things get really I guess unpredictable sometimes so being able to properly adjust yourself to the situations as a subtlety and maximize whatever amount of damage you can to kind of bring everything together will allow you to deal more damage for here we have Akari's soul and Akari's soul directly influences how your rotation goes as a subtlety rogue you need to be able to adjust your rotation on the fly as a lot of people still are trying to play subtlety and other specs to a certain rotation like let's say you want to get one single cheap shot, one shadow strike, one eviscerate. Then after that, shadow strike, cheap shot, eviscerate, cheap shot, shadow strike. And they kind of can get out of this flexible format. They kind of stuck to this rotation. First one, then two, then two, then one, then one, then two. And it just keeps on going. Well, they might be cheap shotting a target that's already stunned DR'd. So there's really no point of doing so. So being able to adjust and properly use it will also help with Akari's soul. For example, Akari's soul has a delay mechanic for your shadow strikes and cheap shots. Uh, so every time you use shadow strike or cheap shot, an Akari's soul will appear four seconds later to rip the target for shadow damage. So what you can do is kind of do a different lineup and be a little bit more flexible when it comes to your lineups. So for example, I'll have a train dummy and a train dummy will of course take a little bit more damage than it's supposed to, but I'll use a different opener and a different setup on the enemy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a night blade after first two shadow strikes, then into night blade, then Shadow Dance, Cheap Shot, Shadow Strike, Eviscerate, probably go into Gormo's Bite, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate for more energy, Shadow Strike, Cheap Shot, Eviscerate, or uh, the other way around, and then continue to Shadow Strike. So they have set up two Shadow Strikes for Akari Soul to follow, and then I have a Stun Lock rotation where Akari Soul continues to follow, so now I have an intricately tied damage rotation, and I can show you guys exactly what it looks like right now. One Shadow Strike, two Shadow Strike. Let's go for some CC. I got extra combo points, so if I was uh, properly doing this, then I'd be able to uh, 
take advantage of the extra common points that I gained, and I'm able to set up a lot of string of attacks and abilities. Now I'm refreshing my Nightblade into a stronger Nightblade while continuing to pressure my enemy. If this was a Druid, I'd be staying on the Druid. If it was a Paladin, I'd be staying on the Paladin. And part of the advantage of playing Subtlety is the fact that you are able to move with enemies. So for the most part, you are able to focus on your rotation properly. And during that short moment, I was actually able to deal a decent amount of damage to my opponent, in my honest opinion. I mean, of course, the damage is going to vary uh, very differently in terms of PvP, but the succession of abilities that I'm able to combo together to utilize my artifact power or my artifact traits to the full potential is probably where Subtlety's greatest advantages are. And I feel like a lot of players are still not quite 100% sure how to use all these abilities properly. So, I feel like there's a lot of room for progression and prog- So, in consequence, I feel like there's a lot of room for growth for every single player playing Subtlety. Now, I do understand that a lot of players are still trying to figure out Subtlety and other specs of Rogue, and a lot of players are getting discouraged from playing Rogue in general, and completely understandable, but I feel like we have to take a look at Legion and for uh, patches to come with a fresh new head in mind kind of deal, fresh new outlook on the class in general. It is not the same class that you remember, and chances are it won't be the same class for a very, very, very long while. So, I still do see a lot of forum posts with people talking about how Rogue's there in terrible state. I personally don't believe rogues are in a that bad of a state. I feel like rogues are in a decent position. I feel rogues are in a uh, position where we have the bare minimum to do well in arenas, in BGs, and whatever other PvP situations. So I feel like it's up to the player for the most part, and I feel like it's mostly an issue of different player skill and different player understanding, and a lot of people are kind of stuck to the old school subtlety model. So those were the three things that I think every subtlety player can improve on. So if you feel like you have uh, just were about to give up subtlety, you feel like it doesn't deal enough damage, then maybe this video might be enough for you guys to try a few things and uh, work on your energy management and how you execute your abilities in terms of energy and combo point management, learn how to spam out as many shot strikes as possible. Learn how to properly set up your finalities in order to increase how much damage you're able to deal, as well as learning how to combo your abilities together in a flexible playstyle for PvP in particular, in order to allow yourself to have a little bit more freedom, a little bit more flexibility, and more reliability on how you want to approach each situation. And I think those three things are going to help out a lot of rogues in general. I'm going to be making a string of guides once patch 7.1.5 will be coming out, and I actually can't wait for the patch to come out to make a guide for every single spec and make a bunch of guide videos on all three specs in order to help you guys learn how to play subtlety a little bit better as well as assassination and especially my favorite one outlaw thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed i'm enjoying playing subtlety as my off spec on the uh on the off side from time to time and i'm currently having a ton of fun with it so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed my name is dal and i'll see you guys in the next video